Hiya everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Canary Room. Back in the Canary Room again this time for episode 12 of season 5 of the show. Season 5, where has the time gone? Listen, first off, thank you to each and every one of you who took the time to um, to uh, <clears throat> drop me a thumbs up, drop me a message um, and ask if I was okay after the last episode. Do you know what? You're an absolutely bunch of beautiful human beings. Thank you. I was feeling a little bit down, but you know, by the time I'd finished reading all the messages, I felt a million dollars again. So thank you for that. Um, hopefully got a good episode for you today. Um, over the course of the next uh, few episodes, uh, hoping to get back to Keith's at some stage to check up on progress on his pairs. Over the course of the next few episodes, probably 20 minutes or so just in the room every fortnight, just updating you with what's going on. So, of course, we will catch up with the Fifes, we'll catch up with the Native Diaries, we'll catch up with the Norwich Notebook, and we'll catch up with the Grey Wings as well. So, um, as always, everyone, grab yourself a cuppa, sit back, and enjoy the show. It's, uh, it's very much the business end of the breeding season here in the Canary Room at the moment. Uh, you can possibly hear there's one or two lustful cocks uh, you know, belting out song. Uh, the uh, the nursery cages are filling up nicely. Um, a little bit more on that later on. So um, that's good. I say business end. We're um, coming towards sort of end of May, really. Um, and uh, we're moving sort of into the second round. The second round are just starting to hatch now. Um, quality of the first round looks nice. We can see a few of them here. Um, we've got a, a really good mix of, of birds across the colours, um, which is encouraging. Uh, you know, they change from, from day to day, week to week. So I'm not, I'm not looking at them seriously yet. They are in the nursery cages at the moment. We will look to move them. As I say, more on that a little bit later on in the show. Um, Five wise, solid season. I think is how I would um, I would judge it. We've got uh, a number of nests due out. Some have hatched today, as we can see here. Uh, some are more are due over the next couple of days. What one of the things I have seen and have found is that you know, despite the fact that there's maybe four um, four eggs full, um, only two, sometimes three, are hatching. Uh, so have to have a look at that whether it's the humidity you can see i've got a t-shirt on you might not be able to see i've got a t-shirt on but i have got a t-shirt on um so it has got a little bit warm in here i've got a, a fan at the back that sort of sucks air through and i've got a, an air purifier at the front i have actually got a, a little tiny air conditioning unit but um i haven't set it up yet uh maybe wait for it to get a little bit warmer before i do that so um five wise as i say solid solid um last time you were here we had some hatchings um we had uh, a number of those come out and, and as i say you know rather than sort of threes and fours it was it was twos and threes and and that over a number of cages and over a number of rounds can be the difference of 20 to 30 birds a season so we're going to, um, as we always do, we're going we're gonna to look at the management of things. We're going to look at what we've done, uh, what we've done perhaps differently this year. Um, and we'll reflect on that for, for future years. But first thing really, you know, as I sit here, or rather stand here today and look at both the volume and quality, then I've got birds that will replace what I need to replace in the room. And I've got birds that will, uh, you know, not disgrace me on the show bench so at the beginning of the season that's what you you know that's what you want and you know as i sit here sort of the midway point that's what we've got so that's encouraging and um, as i say a couple of hens just chipping out young today um and you know we're really really sort of pleased that the fifes some of the fifes have done uh, a good job with the um with rearing some norwich for me as well so that's encouraging bit more about that in the Norwich notebook later on um, we look now very quickly at our pairs in focus so 
Like everything in the Canary Room, our Pairs in Focus is a story of different chapters. I think it's perhaps the nicest, kindest way of saying it. Um, first pair we've got is the pair behind me here in the cage, the Cinnamon Buff Hen and the uh, Heavily Variegated Yellow Cock. Now, they have just in the last uh, 24 hours, they've hatched two chicks so far. They're due today. Uh, one hatched yesterday, another was out this morning. They'd actually jettisoned one from the nest. Um, so I managed to see that last night and check before I, uh, I closed the room up for the evening and I could pop that back in. Um, I topped it up with a little bit of food and um, you know it's okay this morning. It seems to be being fed this morning, so that's good. Um, no pink eyes yet from that pair, which is um, slightly concerning slightly concerning um the the other pair the sort of the trio of birds you'll remember last time out we had uh, the two clear yellow hens and a clear buff cock and last time out we had um you know one of the hens the young hen feeding um they were all the hens were kind of feeding everything um i um i came in one day and and one of the young in the nest um had had passed uh, and I was looking at it thinking, you know, I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Um, so, a bit disappointed with that. I um, I picked it up and, and thought, OK, well, I'll top the other two up. I lost the other two as well. So, um, the other hen in there is now down on a, a, a clutch. Um, so, she's down on a clutch and she's got a Norwich egg in there too. Um, so, she's... She's done well. She's reared some nice birds for me. I did think there was a Norwich in them. I've rang one. It's a fife. So I'll have to cut the ring off it. But uh, I did think there was a Norwich in there. But it, it obviously, <laughs> obviously I was wrong. Uh, so I'll check my records on that. Norwich-wise, and this was our pair in focus in cage 61 and 62. Really nice, couple of year old flighted yellow cock bird from Keith and, a, and an unflighted buff hen. Um, we've got a number of young out of this pair now. Um, certainly three birds behind here uh, that we'll see a bit later on. They're out of them, so, you know, I'm getting some nice volume out of that bird. I think it's probably one of the best cock birds I've got in the room as well, so that's always encouraging. Um, Native-wise, well, um, where to start? So, uh, we did say we'd focus on the goldies. More of that in the native diaries later on. Um, our red bowl pair, I'll tell you what I did with the red poles because I just wasn't happy with the way that they were going. Our red pole pair, I've seen them feeding each other. She has, she's like a chicken. So I'll show you a second, you'll see this is another clutch of eggs. She must have laid 15, 20 eggs this year. Um, no indication of sitting them. Uh, hopefully that will change. So she's okay uh, in terms of volume of eggs. Absolutely garbage in terms of volume of chicks. And then the, um, the bullfinch pair that we had. Well, you remember last time out with the bullfinch pair that um, they were just, I think, about to hatch chicks. They did hatch chicks. Um, and I'd, I'd cordoned him off, I'd wired divided him off. Um, she, uh, I thought she was feeding them. Um, and in fact, I've made that mistake a few times. I've, I've tried not to, I've tried not to fuss the birds. Um, and as a consequence, I've sort of left them to it. And that hasn't, that hasn't paid dividends this year. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So as I move into the sort of second round with birds now, I am being a bit more vigilant on, on checking the nests in the morning and at night. I did check the nest. She looked like she was sitting tight. Um, I actually looked and I have a little uh, little bin in, in, in here um, and there was a chick in the bin and I, and I thought, I don't remember putting that chick there. And I picked it up and it was alive. Um, somehow uh, she'd flicked it out the nest. Um, so I picked that and then there was one remaining chick in there and I popped them under a fife. Uh, so we've um, we got them, two of them to about six days. Uh, we lost one of them. Um, and as I look out the corner of my eye now, the other one is being fed. So that's about nine days old now. So hopefully I'm giving the fife a little helping hand, but hopefully that will, uh, that will help it. So pairs in focus, as always in the canary room not without its challenges. Real interesting thing is this bird behind me, is it a carrier? Because the other cock bird 
He's produced birds. None of those are visually cinnamon. One of them has to be. Will we find out which one it is before the end of the season? Stay tuned. Something to, something to look out for. From Pairs in Focus now, let's go and have a, a little look at something new. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so listen, this remains a, a work in progress. Um, it's a uh, an extension. Uh, I say an extension to the Canary Room. I've basically, um, I've basically taken a proportion of the garage. Um, last year, you might remember, I uh, had the wire cages in here. Um, I molted out the new colours in here. Um, it's got windows. It's got a decent airflow through it. Um, it's got uh, you know plenty of natural light actually, uh, and it has got some some additional light as well in here. So, um, I uh, many of you who watch the show will know that I um, purchased uh, some flight cages. You, you possibly can't see them; they're, they're here, they're behind this wall. And um, and what I've done is essentially built a molting room. Um, so the birds that I will colour feed will end up in here. There's a little bit of work still to do in it. Uh, I've got to um, build uh, another little um, uh, base really for these cages here and then give them a, a thorough clean uh, down before I move any birds in but um, nice to have a bit more room. I mentioned earlier that the nursery cages were filling up. Um, I have got a flight cage still available in the canary room but I needed a little bit more space. This is not, famous last words here everyone, remind me of this. This is not intended as a breeding room for canaries. This is intended very much as an overspill room. Um, I don't really want to bring colour food into the canary room if I can help it. Um, so this will be an overspill room. I will um, overwinter. Uh, I'll put birds in here probably from the end of uh, end of May until the um, sort of October time, um, and just use it for those few months. So uh, sneak peek, everyone. Next time you come. There'll be birds in it. So welcome to the Native Diaries, um, or Heartache Corner, as it's becoming fast known. A um, couple of interesting things really with the natives this time round. So um, bullies, all the hens are back down again. Now you'll remember, I think from the last episode, that one of the hens that we've got is fond of the old uh, scrambling her eggs and eating her eggs so um her eggs have been set actually today under a fife she's on pot eggs though so she has thrown one of them out uh but she sat on the others so i'm sort of i'm sort of keeping her there i don't know why i'm keeping her down on eggs but but i am really just to try and you know see if i can't get her into that cycle properly um the other two bully egg hens are are also incubating so one is on three eggs um, and the other hen is on six eggs. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll get something from these this year. As I say, we have got one rung bully in the uh, in the nest under a canary. Um, not ideal, but, you know, it's alive and that's important. Um, the, um, the goldies, well, outside we can see, you know, the goldies outside are starting to get into some nice breeding condition they're, they're doing some really good things now they're starting to show a um a bit of attraction a bit of chasing i like that i like that a lot so hopefully they won't be too far away uh, and inside um well we had our first egg today uh so the hen has built up um i've been giving them some live food uh, so we can see here a shot of the um the uh, mealworms have uh, been giving them some lime food um, built up, but unfortunately I didn't get to the egg before I think, I'm assuming, the cock did. So came in this morning and the, uh, the egg had been pecked. So I put a slide divide in now. I've not divided them off. What I will do tonight is divide them off before the morning uh, to see if I can't catch that egg. Um, that'll be the intention anyway. Um, the um, linnets are beautiful, but don't appear to be doing anything at all. Um, and the red poles, red poles have really frustrated me. I, I look back at you know some previous shows and and really seen that yeah I had young red poles at this time last year, and I was looking at it thinking, well, 
nothing really massively different. Uh, you know, a couple of nest sites in there. And then I triggered, I'd been using um, these little wicker baskets and, and they didn't fit as, as perhaps as nicely as I'd like them to. And I wasn't overly happy with them. And, and the birds, had, certainly one of the hens had laid in them, but no indication of sitting anyway. Uh, I took them out and almost immediately the hens have all gone down and uh, built up and two of them have laid. So um, it's down to me, not the birds, down to me. So hopefully I've fixed that. Hopefully uh, we'll have some more success to report in the Native Diaries in future episodes. So stay tuned for that. Natives, onto the Norwich Notebook now. Mentioned it earlier with the fifes, pretty much the business end of the season now with the Norwich. So um, we, um, we've had every single Norwich hen lay. I think I said that last time. And that's, that's been, you know, particularly encouraging for me. Um, I left a couple of Norwich eggs under one hen and um, she hatched them. I helped top up a little bit to start with. And then we got some footage of both the cock and the hen here, I think, feeding. Um, and I was I was pleased with that, um, really really pleased with it. I made a call. One of the smaller of the young chicks was um, didn't make it, so I made the call to move the other. Uh, so I moved the other under a fife. Um, so at the moment we've got um, five, I think, uh, Norwich sort of feathered and out the nest, and then another two, possibly three, in the nest. Um, at, at a very young age and then we've got another one, two, three, four hens on what I think are full Norwich eggs so hopefully we'll get some um, we'll get some volume of that and put these birds back down so I'm waiting for five of the hens essentially to lay any day or six of the hens to lay any day now so um, and that'll be it'll probably be the last round with the Norwich then so we'll, we'll take the eggs we'll find somewhere to put them um, and then we'll retire the Norwich for the season. Um, but really pleased with what's what I've seen so far. You know, want to get into double figures. Hopefully I will. Um, not not huge volume out of seven hens, and I you know appreciate that. I've made mistakes as I'll continue to do. Uh, I'll learn by them. One of the lessons I learned very quickly. I had a, a five cock in with two of the Norwich young, uh, and I came in. I'd left him in all day, and I don't normally do that when there's young birds in the nest. And he'd, he'd given them both Mohicans, so that was a mistake, which I won't repeat. So he is being run in there, he's treading that hen again. I like the chicks that they've bred, uh, but I won't be leaving him unaccompanied, shall we say. So, Norwich notebook, um, on to new colour corner now. So, with the, uh, with the new colours, we've got um, five away. Uh, at the moment now um, which is good we've got another three in the nest too early to say whether we'll get them or not um, so that gives us as eight uh, and that's off um, the three hens so I've got uh, two off two of the hens um, and four off the other hen which you know I'm really encouraged by I think that gives me some numbers they have got a couple of Norwich eggs under them this time round as well they seem to be sitting you know last time round I said one of the hens um, had sort of smashed the eggs up she hasn't done that this time round I've given her a second chance and and that seems to have paid dividends so um, that's encouraging um, looking at the young uh, that are away um, you know you know <laughs> Because they're dimorphic, you can normally have a good idea of, of the sex of them. Um, there's a few cocks in there, most definitely. Uh, and it looks like there's a couple of hens as well, which is good. As I, I think last year I bred three or four hens and the rest were cocks. So I'm hoping I'm not to repeat that feat this year round. Um, so all good, really, with the, um, with the new colours. And we'll just, we'll just sort of see how they get on. Um, so that's really it. It's, it's mentioned it was a whistle stop tour. Uh, they will be moving forward whistle stop tours. Hopefully, you'll still enjoy them, packed with plenty of, of updates of the, the highs and, and lows. And um, I mentioned it a couple of times, really, the business end. So, you know, one of the things I will do before the month is out is those birds that um, haven't laid. And I'll be completely transparent with you. I've got 
um, probably four or five five hens that haven't laid yet. Um, they've built, they've mated, um, they've just not laid. So some of that I can put down to sexual maturity. Others, don't know, don't, no, no, no obvious reason. I haven't wasted the majority of those birds. They're sat on other eggs, so um, they, most of them now have got Norwich eggs underneath them. The fawn, um, which you know we can see here, is um, has actually got three Norwich and a fife. None of them are hers, um, but that pair has done a fabulous job, uh, Touchwood, of rearing those chicks. So you can see a couple of the Norwich have jumped the nest, and she's still feeding them, which is brilliant. So. Um, yeah, business end of the season. So really, I've got a couple of hens that have laid, reared, and then have shown absolutely no inclination to go back to nest, which is bizarre. Um, that's birds. It's birds. They, you know, they'll do ultimately what, <laughs> what they feel like. Um, so that's all we've got time for. If you've liked it, hit the like, hit the subscribe and share it, please, if you can. And um, really appreciate that. I'm going to try really want to try and get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year if we possibly can on the channel so if you haven't subscribed already hit the subscribe button it's free hit the notification bell until next time everyone take care